Well, Puerto Rico is quickly becoming an art mecca, and some of those works of art are making their way right here to Chicago, if you can believe that. The National Museum of Puerto Rican Arts and Culture has a new exhibit that may get you talking. Joining us to tell us a little bit more about it is Billy Ocasio, who leads that effort. Nice to have you. Always nice to see you. Thank you, Lourdes. All you right. <laughs> so you opened up this museum, I think it was back in September, and now here we are, fast forward, I don't know, about six, seven months. <laughs> How's it going? It's going fantastic. You know, we opened up September of 2014 as the National Museum of Puerto Rican Arts and Culture and since then everybody the community Chicago has been amazing to us uh, we formed partnerships with uh, different museums in Puerto Rico and now we have an exhibit uh, that came in directly from the Puerto Rico's tourism office yeah and we're gonna talk a little bit about okay. that are you having any difficulty in getting some of these artists to come here to Chicago because in many cases you know Puerto I mentioned it Puerto Rico uh, has become sort of like the art Mecca oh yes, uh, many would consider so I would think that some of these artists are then being, you know, many people are trying to get them to their museums. Yes, but we are now the only Puerto Rican museum outside of Puerto Rico. So, okay. uh, so all the artists want to come and be with us, and they've been amazing at, at working with us. Uh, Puerto Rico is just named, San Juan Puerto Rico is just named one of the art cities of the future. Yeah, so I was reading San title, Dulce as well. Yes, yeah. yes, it's a title that comes out every, every three to four years. Uh, and so it deals with contemporary artists, and they were just named. San Juan was named as that city, and so we are celebrating. They wanted to come share their art with us, and so the Puerto Rico's Depar uh, okay. Department of Tourism, the tourism company, wanted to uh, made this possible. They brought the exhibit to Chicago. Okay, so let's talk about the exhibit. It's titled Caliban. Caliban. Why? <laughs> Caliban, it talks about the, the artists of Puerto Rico, it talks about the culture of Puerto Rico, and it's contemporary artists and the way they see culture and the way they see themselves and their, and their people uh, in the art, in the, in the exhibit of contemporary artists. Okay. In the minds of contemporary And it's artists. got sort of an environmentally friendly twist. They talk a lot yes. about you know, sort of what you'll see in Puerto Rico if you do travel there, um, the nice landscapes, that sort of thing, rainforests. Correct. Um, well, it, it's a beautiful exhibit. It deals with uh, different parts of it. There's, uh, like, for instance, one of them is made up of carpets, rugs, that uh, deal with the five masks that exist in Puerto Rico. Uh, some of it is a little bit of satir satirical work on, on politics mm -hmm. of Puerto Rico. Uh, but then there's some fun elements to it. There's a whole interactive uh, ex a part of the exhibit that is a karaoke uh, machine, oh, and karaoke. so people get out there, <laughs> and right. it's part of it's part of bringing the people into the art itself. Uh, so it's really a, a great a, a great exhibit. There's one of one of the parts of the exhibit deals with uh, a homemade gym, sort of. You know, economy had gotten so bad that people just couldn't afford to go out to gyms anymore, Rico, yeah. and so you know, so. The, he, this guy made a homemade gym, and uh, it's part of the exhibit. It's a beautiful, beautiful exhibit, and I would say, you know, people should not only come to our museum to see it, but if you really want to get the whole focus of it, travel to Puerto Rico and see it for yourself. Yeah, <laughs> so it really tells you a story, um, yes. some of the exhibits and the artwork that you've brought in. Yes, and there is, and I say, if you do come to our museum to see it, make sure you pick up the brochure, because the brochure will explain the artists and what they think about the exhibit and how they put the exhibit together so you could get a good feel for what it's all about. Um, is there ever a chance to meet some of these artists? Do they come here and, and maybe... Well, we did have a panel discussion with them when we opened up on April mm -hmm. 4th. We had a whole panel discussion with them, and there were students from everywhere, art students from everywhere who came there. Uh, so there were some from Wisconsin and from Michigan who came to be part of this panel. Uh, we are looking to do something when we do the closing of the exhibit, which will take place the exhibit runs through July. Okay, yes. sounds good. Uh, if people want to be a part of it, where do they get in touch with you? Well, you know, the best thing to do is come to our museum, or you could go to info at nmprac.org, or we're located in, right inside of Humboldt Park, 3015 West Humboldt Park, uh, West okay. Division Street, and we are one of the newest museums to be part of the museums in the Park Association. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's all of the major museums. So there's only 11 of us, and we're one of them. Good plug right there. All right, before you go, what's next? Do you know what's coming up uh, down the pipeline Well, here? we have another exhibit coming in from Puerto Rico. And, you know, part of what we do is we have local artists. We have one, one uh, room that it's all for local artists and another one that's for artists from Puerto Rico. Uh, but we do have one coming later on in September called Poetic Science. It's a great marriage between science and the artists, and they spend their time in a, a, a Junque, the rainforest of Puerto Rico, and put together this exhibit. All right, sounds good. Billy Ocasio, always nice to see you. Thank, Thank you so you. much, sir. Thank you, Lourdes. Thank All you right. so much.